In this video, I'm going to give you three steps that will help you develop confidence and potentially win Jack and Jill competitions. First, you have to be really mentally prepared. Get ready, you're going to be a little nervous and people are going to be critical of your dancing during the competition. And worse, you're going to be extra critical of yourself. This reality can be crippling when you're competing if you don't have the right mindset. And that mindset is this, be solution oriented. This means regardless of how well you feel you did, commit to learning from the competition footage with a positive mindset, looking for new solutions. It's so easy to to look at your footage of the competition afterward and complain about what you're going to stop doing, I suggest shifting your mentality to what you are going to do next time. This allows you to take advantage of optimism's power to help you see new opportunities instead of being blinded by your past mistakes. You've heard it, you can't change the past, but you can change the future. The second thing that you can do to prepare for your first Jack and Jill is to remember that less is more. Don't forget, you're gonna be excited and your partner is gonna feed off of your excitement. This means it can impact the way your dancing may look to others regardless of how good it may feel to you and your partner. You want your dancing to convey the confidence of the Terminator on the inside but with a James Bond facade. There are multiple ways to accomplish this. But one of the ones that I've noticed over the years that have really worked for me and many of my peers is this. If you're a leader, work on moving your torso slowly. This little tip is what helps master dancers look like they are in complete control of what's happening. If you're a follower, remember to keep your shoulders parallel with the floor. This little detail will help you look more connected with your partner instead of being connected to your partner with a simple handhold. Both of these tips are illusions that make lower skilled dancers look more developed. It's all chicanery and it absolutely works. The third thing you can do to prepare for your Jack and Jill competition is to develop Develop one special move from a popular position. Usually in competitions, the person who gets first place typically performs a well-timed move that's unexpected, or they introduce a new shape we've never seen before. The best way to develop this is to social dance or practice by yourself. The key is making the movement happen from a simple move you can easily do on the social dance floor. Eventually, as you climb the ladder of Lindy Hop development, your moves will become more complex. But keep in mind, Simple is usually the best way to go when you're working in a Jack and Jill competition. It doesn't matter how strong or fast you are. It's all about timing. So I wanna encourage you to take these principles and start putting them into action. It's the only way they're gonna work. If you like what you've seen today, consider supporting this channel on Patreon. And as a gift, you will get access to my online swing dance courses. You can do this. I'll see you in class.